Good morning, Madison Camelview. Today is Monday, April 26th, and we're running on a day one schedule. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. I just realized I did not iron my outfit today, and it's a little crazy. Sorry. <laughs> the pockets are wild. <laughs> They're going crazy I just today. realized I always wear this cardigan on announcement days, which I actually really love my cardigan, <laughs> so it's cold in my office. It is chilly. All right, let's get started, Miss Labuta. The theme of the week is being accountable. And the question of the week, and I'm going to ask Ms. Sabita, is how can goal setting support self-accountability? That's a great question. Um, so goal setting is something that we do at Camel View with everyone. But personally, I set goals, and sometimes I set long-term goals, and sometimes I set short-term goals. And my short-term goals kind of help me stay on track for long-term. So for example, a while ago, I went back to school, which I think, you know, Miss O'Brien went back to school too a while ago. And when we went to school, it's a lot of work. And so you wanna try to get into school. And then each week I would set a, a goal to get one assignment done. And then I would set another goal to get another assignment done. And so by setting my goals of which assignments I wanted to get done and where, I was able to hold myself accountable and eventually graduate from school. So you're saying that by setting short-term goals, you were able to accomplish what you needed to accomplish while you were getting your master's degree. Exactly. And then ultimately that result resulted in graduation. Your new position. I know. And I'm so happy here. And we're here. so happy to have you here. Exactly. Great answer, Miss Levita. Thank you. Okay. So this week, um, we just want to say thank you so much to our third and fourth graders um, and their families. We had a very, very successful easy merit test. We almost had 100%. I know. It's amazing. We were so close. But we're just so grateful for everyone being on time and being ready to rock the test. And we just um, are just so appreciative of appreciative of that and from there now we're kind of moving into the next phase of testing which is map testing and map testing um, is for k through fourth grade and this week we are going to kick it off today with our kindergartners and our first grade virtual students and so you guys are going to do an amazing job and then this afternoon miss weigel and miss king will be testing some kiddos so this week is kinder through second and then next week will be third and fourth all right what good luck Good okay, luck, we have a birthday. Um, it's Miss Wynn's birthday today. Woo! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Miss Wynn! Wynn. <laughs> We're so excited to celebrate you. I know you're at home teaching virtually, but happy birthday. Hopefully baby Milo is giving her some love. And I hope you're having like some <laughs> yummy cake today. Something <laughs> yummy. Um, today for lunch, we have Asian chicken egg rolls, our favorite. Turkey and cheese sandwich. Your oh, favorite. Oh, my favorite. Those are my favorite. Sorry. You like the cheeseburger. I like the mini cheeseburgers. <laughs> um, and pb and j of course. Okay. Okay. And today we have a shout out. And the shout out is for Miss Cook. Woohoo! Miss Cook is one of our paraprofessionals. Um, and we are just, she's new this year, and we are just so happy to have her on campus and um, thankful. So thank you, Ms. Cook, for all that you do for our students and supporting our staff at Camelview. Thank you. Okay, our fun fact. Oh, this week's fun facts are all Arizona-based because um, I don't know a lot about some of the things that Arizona has to offer. And so the fun fact today is that the state bird is the cactus wren. Whoa. I know. That's so, a good fun fact. I don't even know what that looks like, but I'm going to look it up today. Me, me too. I don't know if I've seen one. I, you know, they're usually like... Are they little or big? I, you know, I don't know, but I feel like state birds are typically not the ones that are like most popular. Like they're like hmm. lower in population. I don't know. I see a lot of hummingbirds. I personally, that was like one of the, my favorite things when I moved out here was how yeah. many hummingbirds there are. I love hummingbirds. Me too. Anyway. Okay, boys and girls, we hope that you have an amazing day, and we. Um, but remember to follow your Cubs expectations so our vision can come true. And our vision is... In a never-changing world, we can lead, we can learn, we can inspire. Thanks. Have, Have a yes kind of day. Bye, Bye Cubs. Cubs.